Hi everyone. In this live session, we are going to solve this equation, which says uh, the question says how many ordered pairs of integers x comma y satisfy the equation x over twelve equals twelve over y. So you have four choices here. That's thirty, fifteen, twelve, or ten. So we have to find how many ordered pairs of integers satisfies this equation. So how would we how would we solve this? How how to do this? Let's see. I'm going to write this back. X over twelve is equal to twelve over y. Now that's pretty simple. You would be thinking, yes, let's cross multiply. You're right. So we'll get x y is equal to 12 times 12 is 12 squared. And now, no, sorry, x y is equal to 12 can be written as we can break it down into 4 times 3, the whole square. Yes, we can write it like this. And now, what do we have? This is in terms of a b whole to the power of x it can be written as a to the power of x times b to the power of x so let's split it so x y is equal to 4 squared times 3 squared now what can we do now what is 4 squared we can again split 4 squared 4 squared is equal to 4 can be written as 2 squared the whole square which is equal to 2 to the power of 4 so we can even write 4 square as 2 to the power of 4 so let's write it down x y is equal to 2 to the power of 4 times 3 squared now we have got this but how to find the factors what is the rule if you know this rule you can find any number of factors they have or ordered pairs they can make now that's really really simple really easy what it is is you just have to remember this a to the power of alpha b to the power of beta c to the power of gamma dot 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 and so on continues here a b c a b c should be prime numbers where a b c are prime numbers if they are prime numbers you can apply this so you can find out number of factors easily number of factors is equal to when when you have this condition number of factors is equal to alpha plus one times beta plus one times gamma plus one and so on it continues all right so if you remember this you can easily find out the factors for example now let's take an example for example if i'm taking 12 so what are the factors of 12 that's 2 squared times 3 is that right so i'm going to apply it so number of factors would be number of factors for this is equal to what's the exponent 2 plus 1 times what's the exponent 1 so 1 plus 1 so that is 2 plus 1 is 3 times 1 plus 1 is 2 3 times 2 6 so it has total 6 factors 6 factors of 12 so what are those 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 so 12 can be written as product of integers in six different ways six different ways so what are the product of integers what you can write in six different ways let's see so for 12 you can write it as 1 times 12 2 times 6 <clears throat> okay so you can write it as 2 times 6, 3 times 4, 4 times 3, 
6 times 2 and 12 times 1. So all the 6 different ways. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you can write the factors in 6 different ways. Now let's write it for this. What do we have? x, y is equal to 2 raised to 4 times 3 squared. Let's write down our factors. So how many ordered pairs we have? We just have to calculate the ordered pairs. So we have x, y is equal to 2 raised to 4 times 3 squared. So how, how can we write the number of factors? Number of factors is equal to, what's the exponent? 4. 4 plus 1 times, what's the exponent? 2. 2 plus 1 is equal to, 4 plus 1 is 5. 2 plus 1 is 3. 5 times 3, so that's equal to 15. So you have 15 factors. That means xy can take 15 values and it can also take 15 negative values. So you have xy taking 15 positive values, positive solutions and xy also taking as 15 negative values or negative solutions. All right, so that means it has total of how many factors? Like how you have this, like how you have this, one times twelve. So the other, other pair is negative one, negative twelve, negative two, negative six, negative three, and negative four, and so on. Like this, six positive factors, six negative factors. So we have here how many factors? Fifteen. 15 positive values, 15 negative values. So total how many factors? Total how many values? 15 plus 15, 30. So total you have how many ordered pairs you have? You can have 30. 30, that's your answer. So you just see the answer choices here we have is 30, 15, 12, and 30. So your answer choices. 30 ordered pairs of integers satisfies this equation. So, hope this helps. If you have any suggestions, you can write it in the comment box. Thank you so much for joining. Bye-bye. Take care.